everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Friday, 25th of March, and we're looking at the Dow up 200 points at 35,908. That means it's made that prerequisite uh, or requisite uh, leg D from a buy signal to a buy mode. It's achieved everything that we were looking at for, uh, from the time that we went long uh, back on the, I think it was the 15th of March, right about here at about 33,000. Now we'll see what happens. This is going to be very interesting because it looks great. But in fact, to get to a leg D in this particular environment is important. But normally in a chart, I would want it above the 35,824 high that was made back on the 9th of February. So this is just the start of something. I would love for it to hold all the way through to the end of the month. That goes to Thursday. What we're looking at very short term, we did on the one minute chart, we just made a nice peak F top and we're pulling back. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, 45 25 is going to be the key metric to watch on the short term as support. Now what we're looking at is the S&P also went to the PD. So all of these achieved what they needed to do. Now maybe they're going to have to pull back some. We'll watch closely up 17 and 45.37 in the daily chart. Weekly is improving and even that monthly is starting to improve. QQQ, not so good. Uh, down one at 358 because it's still lagging, got stuck at the 200 period moving average. IWM stuck in a range in the rectangle range. It is up 47 cents at 206. Gold, let's see where gold is right now. Gold is down just a little bit, down nine at 1952. It's really in a consolidation area. It's done fabulously up until now. Now it's digesting these huge gains. And crude oil also stuck in a range. Pulling back a little bit now in 70, 75 cents at 111. I'm just saying that if at any point there's a close under 106 in the next three, four sessions, that says gold is going to take a, 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 a more important <clears throat> a rest period, but it's still up in higher territory. The big thing that we didn't spend too much time on today is that bonds plunged down to two, down 260 at 127.83. This means that yields, I showed the yield chart, my triple yield chart earlier on, and then the, the five is over the 10-year. The, uh, the, the wow, this is, this, is, this is usually recessionary talk. And I did show a chart that said we might hold okay, but let's, let's go one step at a time. And we're looking at yields moving much sharper. Uh, I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pesavento and great program for the rest of the day. We've got programming all the way to Tom O'Brien wrapping it up, 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Have a wonderful weekend. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. We've had some really nice uh, positions. See you on Monday. <laughs>